Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley with Andy Rich. In the last episode, we tried... To... Oh, Andy Rich, you're so strong, just picking up your TV. In the last episode, we tried to go into the caves, but we unfortunately did not have a light source and didn't know how to approach that. So in this episode, I'm looking to redeem myself and make my way into the caves. Um, Just a quick side note, I learned that to get rid of these things, all you have to do is give them a good scythe. So I don't want to scythe my crops that I have right now, so we'll be very careful. Ah, oh, how liberating getting rid of all these gross old crops. So yeah, um, just before we get into our daily, uh, not video, our daily music contest challenge, um, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna announce the winner of last episode's contest i didn't really specify the parameters i was thinking for the contest so what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna give all three of you a shout out because i appreciate you all so here are the three comments that won uh thank you all for your participation you got it all right it is delfino plaza from super mario sunshine a classic i've never actually played that game before funnily enough i remember um in the mcdonald's play places uh, there was like the setups where you could play like Nintendo games. I don't know if anyone else remembers that or if I'm crazy or not, but I remember there was like a Wario game, there was a Tony Hawk game and a snowboarding game and there was Super Mario and I always went for the Super Mario and would only let me play up to the end of the Piranha Plant boss, but that's kind of my fond memory of Super Mario Sunshine and the uh, music. Hi Bertabell, I'll come say hi in a second. But the, the music of Super Mario Sunshine and Delfino Plaza specifically, it's just a classic, especially in Smash Bros uh, with the Delfino Plaza music. Anyway, um, congrats to the winners of the shout out. Um, I hope you got a little bit of joy from seeing your names being posted on the screen. Um, so I'm gonna get underway with the today's clip, just a reminder. Um, you don't have to be the first one to win. I encourage everyone to participate because I love interacting with you guys. Hi, Bertabelle. Give me a kiss. Just kidding. Don't give me a kiss. That's disgusting. Um, I encourage everyone who's watching to give it a whirl. Even if you have no idea what it is, just say hi to me. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the music. See you guys in a second. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We are at the mines, ready to face the mines and get the mines and beat the mines. Um, just a reminder, make sure you post in the comments what you think that song was for your chance at a shout out. Also, guys, something that I learned the other day, and by learned, I mean looked it up to make sure that my content was good, is you can just do this. And now I can see where I'm going. Isn't that just magical? You can pick out the pickaxe the torches that are on the ground and thankfully there's a nice convenient torch right there that allowed us to see um where that was so we can just now now the darkness is not an issue anymore which is a welcome addition to the team welcome aboard torch good to have you so yeah remember to post in those comments what uh you think that clip was and i will this time I was nice and I picked all three of you, but we'll go through a nice little random number generator and we'll see who is the true Andy Rich fan, the the elite, if you will, I guess. Um, so something we can talk about right now is I think I'm one day off, but today marks about one entire month of YouTube uploads for Andy Rich, so claps for me I, I hope you're clapping for me i hear a bat and i'm very scared because it's very dark i'm just gonna keep mining and mining my business there he is ka chow ka -chow. oh whoa he didn't hit me until very late there oh geez i'm facing the wrong way mr bat where are you going sir oh i'm whoa <laughs> do you see how far he went there literally what oh i, I always get so surprised when the ladders appear right in front of me after I defeat an enemy because I just feel like that should never happen. All right, anyways, we are one month. Andy Rich as a channel is one month old as of, I think, 
either yesterday or today. I didn't. Ah! Get away from me, you freak. These are called golems or something, I think. Anyway, let me let me spell this thought, please. This is a nice and easy fight, so yeah. Uh, it's been one month of me making content. I just want to thank everyone that's been a part of it so far. Really appreciate all the support that I've gotten. Um, I really love doing this. It's cool because sometimes when I would play video games before, it would be like, oh, uh, I should be like doing something productive with what I'm doing with my life. Ah, get out of my way. Yeah, I should like being productive. But now when I am playing videos for the sake of recording content, I'm like, yeah, we're going to make a YouTube video. It's going to be sick. We're going to make a thumbnail. We're going to upload it and we're going to interact with people and make their day a little better. So overall, it just it's made my gaming experience a lot more positive which is super cool so um oh do we just take it uh let's take a little peek let's get greedy so yeah um a lot of it is me serving you guys by providing you with content which i love doing but it's also a little pick me up for me as well like doing something with my video game time and making everyone's days a little bit brighter with what i'm doing Ooh, a purple one what does this give us amethyst question mark yeah, go Andy Rich. Andy Rich is a Stardew Valley expert. You already know. So yeah, just kind of reflecting. Uh, the other day I watched some of my old videos again and oh my gosh, the quality was... Okay, I mean, it wasn't awful. It, w it wasn't like horrendous. Ah, Mr. Bat, please have mercy. But like, how far I've come, I bought a new mic, which was definitely a good decision. A uh, blue snowball, if you're curious. It's was recommended to me by a friend who's also into YouTube and it's worked wonders for me so far. So thank you for that recommendation. Better ideas, YouTube, check them out. Ah, another golem and I can't see anything and I'm really low on energy all of a sudden. Bottoms up. Thank you, Mr. Field Snack. Oh, they can't move while I'm eating. That's good to know. Yeah, like the mic was a super good addition to the team. Um, my thumbnails, just like learning like what catches. Oh, there's a bat here too. It's okay. Andy Rich is really good at multitasking as he takes a crap ton of damage. Um, oh, it's hard to commentate while I'm fighting. But then again, I could just kind of spam click. Sometimes I want to be strategic about my fighting, but then other times it's just like, oh, okay, two ladders. That's, that's cool, I guess. But then other times it just works way better to just sit there and click, you know? We got five bat wings. That's pretty good. Oh, is this a... Oh, this is 35. Can we make it to 40? Probably not, but let's try. Um, I got my intro done, which is super clean and I love it. Um, I did my channel banner update and include a lot of characters that I really like. Uh, if you can name all those characters, I'd be really, really impressed, by the way. I mean, not super impressed because most of them are pretty well known, but it would show that you guys like a lot of the same characters I do. So give that a whirl if you want to. Um, just seeing how, and even my commentating, like my commentating wasn't bad at the beginning, I don't think. You could barely hear, hear it because I didn't know how to balance sound. But just me being able to fill up space with me talking and knowing what to talk about, when to talk about the game. Oh, get away from me. Something that I still need to improve on is talking while I'm focusing and just saying what's going through my head as I'm spam clicking on a freaky green eyed monster. Um, that's something I could definitely improve on. But I mean, in these situations, I'm sure we could all improve on um, talking while grappling with the undead, you know? Oh, geez, there's another one. They're so hard to see. They're so. Uh, let's just make a beeline for it. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Just click. Just click. If they get on top of you, they just, like, hit you over and over again, hey? And, like, when you hit them, they don't move. So, there's, like, with other enemies, there's, like, a little bit of knockback, I guess. But with these guys, there's not. So, you need to be... Unless you hit them with the tip. They probably have a lot of innate defenses, my guess. Oh, jeez. I'm in a little bit of a corner here. Swing for your life, Andy Rich. See, there's another instance where I'm focusing on clicking and I'm not really talking. But, you know, it'll come with time. Or maybe I'll just never do it and I'll be like, Haha, Andy Rich never talks when he's focusing. That's adorable. Get wrecked, Andy Rich. XD. 
I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. But yeah, also, just big thank you to everyone who's subbed, everyone who's approached me, whether it's on Reddit or in real life or in the YouTube comments section. It, it really, ultimately, I'm doing it for the people, right? Like, it's fun for me as well, but I'm doing it because I want to serve people. And it's awesome to see that there are people out there who appreciate it. So thanks, guys. You're the reason I do it. Um, something that I've been, I've been a little existential about my Stardew Valley runs. I really like playing Stardew Valley, but the thing is, is I feel like the commentary can get quite repetitive. Like when I'm playing Undertale, for instance, um, which if you haven't watched, make sure you check it out. Um, when I'm playing Undertale, it's very like story based and every episode is something different. Every episode is something exciting. What hit me? Is there enemies in the dark that I just can't see? Yeah, it looks like it. What floor are we on? 38? We could make it. If we hurry, we could make it to um, floor 40. I also think we have our 10 bat wings for the community center, which is pretty exciting. Die, foul beast. Yeah, I've gotten a little existential about my Stardew Valley videos because I really like playing Stardew Valley, but it gets repetitive. So I'm wondering what you guys think. I was thinking about maybe making Stardew Valley a like weekend thing where I maybe record like a week of Stardew Valley and only like cut in between the highlights. A bomb? Why did that bat have a bomb? Yikes. Could he have exploded it on me? I have no idea how that works. <laughs> That's a little alarming. If these bats are flying at me with bombs, I should probably be a little less um, haphazard, I guess, with my swinging because I feel like bombs are not something to be trifled with, so to speak. We're getting pretty late here, but we are on floor 39, so I'm going to just try to hustle through this level as fast as I can. Is that a ladder? You bet it is. Okay, here we go. What's in the box? What's in the box? A slingshot? Are you for real? You received a slingshot. What? I didn't know this was a thing. Requires stones for ammo. Can I... How do I do this? Whoa! What the heck? That's awesome! Out of ammo. But I have stones. What? How do, how do I load it up? Right click to arm slingshot with... Okay, here we go. Okay, let's let's give it a whirl, boys and girls. I'm excited! What the heck? This is sick! I didn't know there was a slingshot. That's awesome. Let me shoot one. Poing! Okay, so I don't get the stone back. And the range is pretty limited, it looks like. But that's still sick. And I'm pretty fired up about that. And we reach floor 40. Doesn't that mean we get an achievement? So far, there's no start at the bottom. How long does it... Okay, so we have to reach the bottom. We get no reward at all, which is fine, I guess. But, um, yeah, I guess now our plan... I click to retrieve stone. Yeah, we don't want to get rid of those. So, yeah, that's, that's that. We made it to floor 40. I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys are excited about that. And it looks like our next target is... To get to the bottom which is lofty i don't know how many floors it is i think once we get to floor 80 we can get the mine carts activated or something i don't know what that even means i read that online um so we'll have to give that a shot and see how it goes um let me put everything away in its proper place and i will see you guys in a second all right guys so we are all done for the day. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a subscription. Um, and yeah, I appreciate that you guys are here and I'm excited to see you again tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye and good night.